RTX 3060 Ti performance numbers were just leaked and Big Navi's launch was an absolute disaster. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Polar Backup. Polar Backup is an affordable cloud storage based backup solution that will help you protect your most critical data which could save you a lot of headaches if your drives fail or get stolen. Polar Backup is also incredibly secure using zero knowledge backups and 256 AES military grade encryption to protect you from theft or ransomware. Some of the features include set and forget automatic backups, files can be stored forever, the ability to backup local, external, and network drives, desktop agents and web consoles, the ability to use your own AES-256 encryption password for maximum security, and file versioning. Polar Backup is a great tool for old photos, videos, files, and anything you want to keep as secure and safe as possible. And right now you can get 10 terabytes for the price of 5. When you buy a 5 terabyte lifetime plan, Polar Backup will give you another 5 terabyte plan free. If you're looking for a powerful and affordable solution for backing up all of your most precious data, be sure to click the link in the description below and give it a try. So starting off with that 3060 Ti leak which was posted over on videocards.com and looks really good and by the way there will be links to all of my sources in the description below and let's also try and go for 3000 likes on this video if we can, let's see if we can hit that but in any case I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit out of their article here and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. So video card starts off the article by saying quote Nvidia expects G4 RTX 3060 Ti to be 1.4 times faster than the RTX 2060 Super, according to the official slide that was released in the press today. They go on to say, quote, the graphics cards were tested with stock clocks at 2560 by 1440p resolution using an Intel Core i9-10900K CPU. And then finally, they say Nvidia is targeting an RTX 2080 Super with the new model being faster by a few percentage points according to the data we collected. And the estimated price is supposedly going to be $400, and if you take a look at their chart here it is supposedly going to be a little bit faster than the RTX 2080 Super which is pretty dang impressive especially at $400 but it will be going head to head with the AMD RX 6700 XT likely which will probably have around 12 gigabytes of VRAM and so there is going to be a little bit of a VRAM disadvantage there much like the 3080 versus the 6800 XT but of course you will have to take into account the DLSS performance you get out of Nvidia cards as well as the increased ray tracing performance overall at least that's what it seems to be and so if you are looking for a more of a ray tracing card, I'm assuming you'll probably end up wanting to go for something like the RTX 3060 Ti because of course for $400 it's a pretty good deal and if you're someone who just wants to focus on traditional rasterized performance, the RX 6700 XT will probably be a better investment for you because of that extra VRAM and it'll probably give you a better price to performance ratio. And you know that does look really really good so far here and we'll just have to wait and see when this does officially release. I'm actually expecting it to come sometime around December if not you know quarter one 20 2021, maybe January, but you know, I'm thinking more December. But in any case, until then, we have the new launch of the RX 6800 and 6800 XT graphics cards, which just launched this morning. And while they do look really good in terms of benchmarks, which you know, just for example, from hardware unboxed, apparently at 1440p, the RX 6800 XT is about 3% faster than the RTX 3080. And of course, it does it for $50 less, at least in traditional rasterized games. So that looks really, really good. Now, of course, when you, you know, turn on ray tracing it doesn't quite look as good but it's fair to say that you know ray tracing isn't in too many games yet and it will be coming to more and more games in the future but at least for right now the 6800 XT does seem to be a much better deal because not only is it 50 bucks cheaper and potentially going to be faster at the most popular gaming resolution of 1440p at least for enthusiast gamers but on top of that it has you know four more or six more gigabytes of VRAM so it could be a lot more future proof for regular games that don't use ray tracing but of course we'll just have to wait and see as that time goes on but you know as good as the 6800 XT and 6800 do look you know considering their price to performance unfortunately you're probably not going to be able to get one because like many of you I woke up this morning early and I tried to get myself either a 6800 or 6800 XT from basically anyone I could find you know I tried Best Buy I tried Newegg I tried Amazon and I eventually tried the AMD store as well but you know it seemed like they basically didn't go on sale at all I've only seen a couple of people over on Twitter claiming that they did get one and and of course, an AMD employee who I will not name made the major mistake of saying, see, I got one. And I just a total facepalm moment because it's like you are an AMD employee. 
even if you got it without any help whatsoever, which, you know, fair is fair, that probably could have happened. Well, people just don't really want to hear that. They're going to assume that you got help from AMD to get that card, and they're going to assume that you're basically just doing marketing work. So that was just an absolute facepalm moment. I can't believe he went on Twitter and said that. That was, you know, really enraging for a lot of people who weren't able to get one this morning, which was basically everyone, because like I mentioned earlier, you know, not only was I not able to get any of these cards, much like pretty much everyone else out out there but on top of that you know I was refreshing all these pages about every five seconds and looking on my phone and you know multiple different tabs on my computer and they essentially never went on sale at least for me where I was looking they just didn't actually go on sale except for on one site so for example on Newegg when I was refreshing all these pages um, they never popped up until they were gone so you know they I did uh, one refresh waited five seconds another refresh sold out but they weren't even there before they sold out. So like they only popped up when they sold out, which I mean, I assume that means that there was probably very, very little stock and then basically bots came in and automatically bought them so that you couldn't even see the checkout button. There was absolutely zero chance for a regular buyer to get a card from somewhere like Newegg or Best Buy or any of those places because much like Newegg on Best Buy and Amazon as well, they didn't pop up until they were gone. So I don't know if they just didn't sell any basically or if they just sold so few and bots got them so quick that, you know, either way, it doesn't matter. You weren't able to buy one, period. I the only people who seemed to be able to actually buy ones were people who went to Micro Center in person, like I mentioned in a previous video where I said that your best chance would probably be to, you know, line up the day before at Micro Center and be probably the first 10 to 15 people. And in fact, there's one video going around where apparently I think only two or three people actually in line were able to get one and everyone else had to basically just go home empty handed, which is just like, wow, two or three cards for one store. We can't call it a paper launch yet. There's not enough evidence, not enough time has gone by, but you know, this is not looking good and but you know the other place that i saw a few people actually legitimately get a card not bots but people was on the actual amd website and unfortunately i just didn't look there right away because i actually didn't even know that amd had a store on their page but i guess I, in hindsight i should have checked that um, but I did check, you know, just basically a couple minutes after they went out of stock in Newegg and there was an add to cart button on the 6800 and I tried and their whole website just crashed. So a few people apparently right when it went live were potentially able to, with refreshing, you know, get a card. But I haven't seen too many people claim that they were able to get a card and it seems like the majority of them went to scalpers who are unfortunately already starting to list them on eBay. So it just goes to show you, you know, if you're a company and you're making fun of another company who doesn't have enough stock, maybe you should make sure that you do have enough stock before you go through with, you know, making fun of that company because it could turn out that it's essentially just as bad for you or maybe even worse because in my opinion, the RX, you know, 6800 and 6800 XT launch, at, at least just for me, seemed much worse than the RTX 3080 launch. Because with the 3080 launch, there was a whole lot of demand and websites were crashing, but there, there were technically cards that you could potentially try and put in your cart for, you know, at least a couple minutes, you know, two to five minutes. Here, they were gone in seconds. It didn't even last probably more than a second. So I would consider that to be potentially even worse because these websites were able to handle it this time. They didn't crash they were just gone or maybe not even ever sold. I mean, I, I would assume that some of them were sold. It probably just was sold to bots and not real people. So yeah, in my opinion, I think this was actually a worse launch from AMD than we got from NVIDIA. And I'm, you know, I hope that on the 25th, when the custom AIB cards launch, that you'll have a better chance of getting them by then. But, you know, only time will tell. And I don't have my hopes up too high because honestly, I think it's going to be very, very difficult to get any of these cards for potentially up to one to two months. Months. But you know what, if you're, you know, religiously checking all these websites and you've got, you know, all so sorts of auto notifications sending you emails, there probably is going to be a good chance that you might be able to score at least one of these cards, even though it might not be the exact one you want. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about this RX 6800 and 6800 XT launch? Do you think that it was a disaster worse than NVIDIA's or do you think that it was a little bit better? I'd like to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, NVIDIA and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.